move your cursor to the return on your FCR. As you see, 26 will appear. 26 stands for the altitude that that return is at. The two numbers to the right of the cursor is 54 and negative 13. Those are the upper and lower limits that your radar could see. It is a little bit more complicated than that, but I will not go over it in the simplifications of this video. To lock on to a contact, press TMS up. Press it once to go into situational awareness mode where it'll continue to search the rest of the sky. As you can see with the bottom cyan T moving back and forth. To go into STT, single target track, press the TMS switch up again. This will not search the rest of the sky. You will not see any other returns in this mode. To unlock your contact, press TMS down. This puts it back into SAM mode. To unlock your target and go back into search mode, press TMS down again. This white symbol that looks like a cake is not a return. It is not a contact. You will not be able to lock it up. It is your current steer point displayed on your FCR. The 80 and the upper and lower arrows is the current scale of the FCR in nautical miles. And that scale can be changed by choosing up or down on those arrows. You can also change the scale or scope on your FCR by bumping the cursor up and down. So at the top here, starting on the left, you have 16 L, which is the relationship of the aspect of the bandit. If it was 180, that means it's coming straight for you. 340 degrees is the heading of the locked target that you have. The 590 is the ground speed of the target that you have locked. So the 1291K is the closure speed in knots. It is the addition of the locked target and your speed together. If this is a negative number, that means the locked target is increasing the distance between you. The F number at the bottom is the distance of the locked target to you. 